five, six, and seven is somewhere up in the sky already. We're having, we're breaking a record today here at the park. Seven paramotor pilots will be in the air, hopefully, as long as everyone gets in the air, it'll be a record. Anyway, today's video, this guy right here, I'm sure some of you guys recognize the marvelous Vitarazzi factory and Scout Machine NXT combo. Um, back at the Endless Foot Drag fly-in, I was presented with this. It was a collaboration between Vitarazzi and Scout to get this together. And uh, I got a lot of questions about it. People asking like my opinion on it, long-term review. And honestly, I haven't flown it much since that fly-in. Craig nailed it. Um, but I did some flying on it this morning for like an hour and I'm gonna do some flying on it tonight and we're gonna do a more comprehensive impression slash review. It's a little bit windy, so we're not going anywhere far. We're probably just gonna hover around with everyone and it's gonna be awesome. But uh, yeah, let's go to GoPro footage and we'll get in the air. See how this guy pull starts. Real time. One, two, nice and easy. space to myself. We're gonna go down in these cornfields, maybe, if it's not too turbulent. Um, so first, a little context. I mentioned this motor, the whole pair of motor itself was a gift. Um, so take it what it's worth. That's your uh, your disclaimer. These are, they are my honest opinions. And it, it's no benefit really for me to hype things up. I'll just tell you how it is. and. If you still want to think that, oh, he's sponsored, he's only saying it because it's uh, free, I guess, whatever. But here's my, my opinions. First off, I haven't really flown this motor much because it's so beautiful. And there's one in the world, literally. And I really just wanted to kind of keep it in the corner and keep it pristine and use it for its intended purpose, which is cross-country flying. That's what this frame was built for. The motor, not necessarily, but that's what this frame from Scout is designed to do. The Scout NXT, my opinions are still pretty much the same. Um, I've flown this frame enough between Iceland and a trip prior to that that I, I know how this frame handles. And basically, short summary is that it's made for cross-country flying. So. Launches are easier than the normal Scout because of the thrust angle and the way the seat and harness articulates. So that's really nice. If you're launching with gear, um, it'll make things a lot easier on you. The engine itself, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting to me. So the standard Vitarazzi Moster, fa or, uh, Moster Plus that comes pretty standard on the Scouts, on a lot of other motors, it's I think the most popular engine for paramotors. That engine I have lots of hours on. I love the engine. Um, it's my favorite. And it, it costs $2,500 if you want to buy just the engine, not a frame or anything. I think a bug freaking, a bug got lodged in my helmet and bit my scalp. God, that sucks. Ow. So that standard engine costs $2,500, just for reference. Ah, oh, god damn it, they're biting my legs. The Moster Factory, which is this special engine here, it has a lot of special things about it. The exhaust is titanium, the crankcase is CNC'd instead of cast, 
I assume. The reed valves, I believe, are carbon fiber. The exhaust bracket is carbon fiber. It's, I'll have to fact check it, but it's like a pound or two lighter. Uh, it's got all these, like, they took the Moster Plus and went crazy on everything. Damn, that's a buck. He's going for it through the soybeans. They tuned everything as much as they could. Given those things, the price point for this motor itself is $3,500. So if you look at a percentage increase from $2,500 to $3,500, that's a lot. And the question I got asked a lot on Facebook was, is that engine worth the extra dollars? I think there's two components to look at. So you're getting the bling factor. It's a nice looking engine. Like the Moster Plus is a nice looking engine already. But you throw in that titanium exhaust, it turns like purple after it gets hot. All the carbon fiber, that sick crankcase, and you got like some street cred. So whatever that's worth to you, some people it's not worth anything. Some people are into that. As far as performance goes, when I first flew this engine, I was kind of like, it's a little bit better in every single category. It wasn't mind-blowing. It was there, it was noticeable. Now, when I picked it up this morning to go fly it, I was kind of like a little bit more surprised at how different it was. It's the biggest thing that I noticed right away is it definitely has more top-end power. I have a faster climb rate, and that's a very valuable thing. Look at Greg down there down and dirty getting the trench run i want to get down and dirty but i'm afraid of getting bit by those bugs again so anyway i flew this motor this morning perfectly calm conditions and i was like damn i don't want to go back to my normal moster plus because this thing it feels racy it's like watch this i want to hook a turn to the left that power. And it's it's butter smooth. The entire throttle range is just perfectly smooth and nice. So based on that, my initial impression when I flew this motor for the first few flights at the fly-in, I was like, it is nice. It's definitely it's got the street cred, it's got a little more performance, but would I pay $1,000 more for that? It was a, a probably no. But now that I flew it again, I'm thinking I, I probably, I would definitely consider it off of one factor. If this motor uh, proves to be long-term reliable with all those modifications, specifically the titanium exhaust, I give it a big thumbs up, and I would definitely consider spending that $1,000 more. No joke, I am very itchy. Like, my face and my scalp and my legs where those bugs landed on me, they like bit me and now it itches. All right, I got one more feature to show you guys. This throttle. So, this is not stock, this is an aftermarket throttle. It's made by Vortex Aero. Vortex is uh, making their own engine here in the US, but they make this throttle. Check it out. This thing is packed with features and it's specifically made for cross countries. You know why? Look at this. Turn this here knob and boom, we've got cruise control. Check it. No hands on the throttle. I feel a little sketchy only because there's other pilots around. It's got this big old LCD whatever display. Gives me RPM. Right now, I'm cruising. I got uh, 5,600 RPM. I'm showing 113 degrees Celsius. It's giving me the cylinder head temp. And it uh, tracks your hours. I think I can freak Jeff out if I show my cruise control. I think he knows because he flew it this morning. By the way, if you guys haven't seen yet, 
We added new items to the merch store. We got the Paraman t-shirt and the sweet swoopy, swoopy paramotor thingy. I don't have good names for them, but trust me, they're sick shirts. We got those up on the site now, brand new, super fresh. Impress all your friends, mostly the ladies, with some uh, sweet merch designs. Check them out. Listen to this full power climb, ready? Cruise power, That's uh, we're about 6,000 RPM. All the way up. 8,500, 8,550. I think that's exactly what the manual says you're supposed to get. There's seven paramotor pilots in the air, but all I see is Jeff. That sounded romantic. I'm gonna kill my motor just because I wanna float for a little while. Put that in my lap. This thing is easy enough to pull start that I shouldn't have any issues getting it going. Oh, hey guys. Oh, damn, there's someone up here with me. Who dat? Craig? That's Craig. There's Dan. It's so weird with the motor dead. I can actually hear other people's motors. It's just a weird feeling. Hello, Dan. Goodbye, Dan. Ooh, it's lumpy down low. Why is it so lumpy? It's like chunky peanut butter, but different. I'm not swooping her in. I'm gonna try Spotland by the Jacqueline. That was a little slippery. Here's the overall conclusion. On my right hand shoulder is the $2,500 Moster Plus that I'm super familiar with. Left hand shoulder is the Moster Factory, $3,500, the newcomer on the block. And the question is, is it worth it? And that's what I've been contemplating this whole video. The $1,000 price difference to me, I think it's pretty steep. But after flying it some more, getting more experience with it, I'm gonna be hard pressed to not get one next time. I think it is significantly better in each characteristic. The vibration, the smoothness, the responsiveness, and that max power factor. Everything just feels just a little bit more refined about it. And the other cool thing, you gotta say, it's nice to look at. That titanium exhaust, the blue crankcase. I take pride in my paramotors and I like that they look nice. So that is a factor to me to a degree, not a big factor, but it's a factor. And that thing looks really nice. So that's my overall conclusion. Is it worth it? I think for the right guy, yes. The price is a little bit steep, but if these are characteristics that you value and you take pride in, then I think it's worth the money, honestly. And I'm gonna be hard pressed to not get one on my next scout. So I will leave you guys with that. Don't forget to check out the new merch on the store. And if you're new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.